Hello everyone, we are back with the ultimate hunter's guide. Uh, I moved back to Firelink Shrine, oh perfect. Perfect amount of soul gathering here. Um, we got all the stats we wanted and now really the time has come to finish this playthrough. I expect that this episode will not be the longest uh, because the way I demolished both Calamit and the Manus, I don't think Gwen is gonna cause too much of a problem. And this area, you know, is pretty easy. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, the only thing about Gwen is I've been kind of doing a finish every boss off with an arrow for the last couple of bosses. I am not 100% sure I'm going to be able to do that with Gwyn, unless he does a grab. I think the grab is going to be the key here. You might need a shield as well, thinking about it. Okay. Let me just check if there is anything. One of these, like, parrying shields. Shit, I don't have a single one. Huh. Well, that's a bummer. I could have sworn I had the target shield at least. Or did I move a bit into storage or something? Well, I don't have the bottomless box, do I? Really strange because I swear I pick up the target shield on every single playthrough. I mean, it's not the end of the world. You can parry Gwen and if I really am like failing at parrying him, we can always go and get one of these shields. Um... Oh yeah, well, well, that's kind of weird. So, kiln of the first flame. Yeah, uh, it's got a couple of black knights to get through. Who? Holy shit! This weapon is just ridiculous. And like I've said, two twenty one, two twenty two. Nutty. Nutty damage, and like I said um, in the previous episode, I've never really used this thing. I've always, I've known it was powerful. <clears throat> like I think pretty much everybody knows this weapon is strong. It's just I didn't realize it was this strong. Uh, let's get some parrying action in here. I actually haven't been parrying too much throughout this entire playthrough. Early on, I was. Fucking hell, it's fast too. See, the thing is, um, I, did, I do feel like this was a more successful version of the Hunter's Guide than the previous one. Uh, hopefully, the concerns people had were alleviated. And, you know, looking back at that old guide, uh, people's criticisms were fully valid that I... Didn't do jack shit with the actual bow, I just used the... I was using the Partisan. And... I was just going to town on enemies with the Partisan, and... The bow, like the actual purpose of the playthrough kinda got shafted to the side, which... You know, is not what you want, but... I was way more of a Souls noob back then. So, yeah. Things are different. I think I have to get to a certain point to realize that if you're good enough at the game, this is not like bragging or anything, you can essentially make any weapon work. Uh, and like I said, if I pushed myself, I could have gone... Oh shit, okay. I could have gone bow only for this. I honestly could have, it's possible. It's just... I didn't want this to be a challenge run. I wanted this to be like a legit playthrough. I'm not leaving that. I wanted this to be like a legit playthrough. Uh, again, challenge runs, I would say, are sort of different. It's a different category. Uh, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's see how my Gwyn parrying skills are. Good. They're good. It sometimes 
it depends on the day. I think even you don't even need to bury him because this weapon is so like fast. Yeah, it is. He's so fast too. Fuck! I messed that one up. Messed up the parry. Fine, 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 whatever. One death against Gwen is expected. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, I got a Black Knight on my ass. Doesn't matter. So, hopefully, this is going to go slightly better. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, classic Gwen. The biggest issue has always been when to heal against him. I don't even know how that didn't hit. I would be pissed if I was him. Fucking hell. Damn. He has a four hit combo there. God damn. Okay. I didn't I didn't I maybe it's just forgetting. Uh I forget shit like this. I thought that was only a three hit combo. Jesus, I died twice to Gwen now. It's not like the end of the world. Like this is one of those bosses you just you either beat him or you die to him. <laughs> I mean that's every boss in the entire game. You either die or beat them. But this guy is I feel like he's like a very 50-50, like explosive. It's just this fucking run back is annoying. Oh well, just this is not the most interesting area to run back through in the world. It's like Lost Isolith. Oh well, this is still gonna fucking hell. I've been only going for nine minutes recording and I have two run backs to cut out. This is gonna be a mega short episode. I don't even know why I thought that this wouldn't be a super short episode. Okay. What did they say about third time? It is the charm, isn't it? Uh, and hopefully that's gonna hold true. That's gonna hold true for this uh, encounter as well. See, I don't know how that's not hitting him. I mean, not hitting me. What the f- What the hell happened to the camera there? Did you guys see that? That was nutty. He is like being weird. Are you seeing this? I'm gonna try baiting out a grab. Or something. Yeah, he's being strange. Okay, I think he's dead. Yeah, he is. There was some like weird moments there. Uh, I think it's probably because of these obstacles. He, no, but these don't have a hit box on them. Well, cheers, Gwen. As they say in England. England is my city as always. Yeah, that was Gwen. Yeah, he put up more of a fight than expected. Uh, obviously, you know the real like kicker to killing him is to summon Solaire. Uh, if you summon Solaire, it's just the biggest pushover ever. Um, okay, well, I think the time has come for the goody good ending. We're gonna link the fire. Not that it matters because we need to play through two more games to actually get to the series. <laughs> Excuse me, conclusion. So we're just gonna become the part of a part of the soul of Cinder, who does not have a hunter like phase, unfortunately. That would be cool. Oh, no, that wouldn't be cool, that would be just more annoying. Dope.
And that brings us to the conclusion of another Dark Souls Ultimate Guide. Can't believe we've come to an end of another one. Uh, we've had quite a lot of these, but again, as you guys remember, I remade the like the three of them, the Sorcerer, Pyro, and the Miracle Guide when the remastered came out. Didn't do it for this one uh, until now because I always thought that this was a sort of failed playthrough initially, but then again, I just kind of realized that I wasn't exactly playing it correctly. Uh, yeah. What is there to say about it? It's Dark Souls. Playing, playing with the bow and arrow is really fun. Even in this game it's powerful, but it got infinitely better in the subsequent games. They just kind of sort of figured out how to make the bows a little bit more viable in combat. Uh, here you pretty much just have to snipe it. Oh fuck, I didn't finish Gwen. Whatever. Um, yeah, so they figured that out how to make sort of the bows more viable which probably will stick around to Elden Ring, and I will definitely use a bow, try to use a bow in Elden Ring um, when that game came, comes games out, <laughs> when that game comes out. Okay, I think it's time to stop babbling here. I wanna, guy, I wanna thank you guys again. God, I'm fucking up the ending. I wanna thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls Remastered. The ultimate hunter's guide and hope you enjoyed the series as well as always if you did like comment subscribe turn on post notifications and i will see all of you next time in a bit of bloodborne i think i think i'm sort of like 50 50 between two playthroughs now but it's probably gonna be bloodborne we'll see we'll see you'll find out in the probably next couple of days as always thanks for watching take care and goodbye